Welcome to a video on how to get good at the BFN All Star, perhaps the most powerful zombie in the game that is accessible to most players due to the flick speed and reaction times that Bowmaster 80s requires. Players who can master this cracked as fuck tank can easily meld lobbies and make any scientist pocket them without a second thought. Let's get started. The BFN All-Star is a tank class within the defense category who specializes in absolutely having zero idea on what the fuck a football is. He has 200 health, making him exceptionally bulky and allows him to square up face to face with most enemies relatively easily. His primary weapon of choice is of a heavy duty football cannon that definitely takes one too many references from the heavy weapons guy, though this is something that he's been doing since Garden Warfare 1, so it is expected. The weapon fires at 5 170 rounds per minute and can fire for up to 7.5 entire seconds before suffering an overheat where the weapon will be unavailable for the next 3.4 seconds. If preserving the weapon for long term fights, there is a 0.4 second delay before it begins to cool down at a rate of 40% heat per second. The weapon takes 0.9 seconds to deploy before it can begin firing, so be sure to keep this in mind when sneaking up on enemies. Each shot fired can deal 7 damage for a normal hit and 8.4 for a critical hit. No damage drop off is present on the weapon, though ranged fights will be noticeably more inconsistent than most other classes. This is down to two factors. Firstly, when firing the weapon, one will almost immediately notice the intense amount of spread, especially when hip firing, that the weapon has, making landing shots consistently as mid to long range noticeably more difficult than trying to shoot down a clay pigeon with a fucking slingshot. The other aspect tampering his long range performance would be the drag, which cuts down his projectile velocity by more than half at mid range, making the projectiles take quite a while to reach their intended targets, which if they see them coming, will allow them plenty of time to move out of the way. Additionally, whilst the weapon is actively deployed, your movement speed is decreased by 40%, and you cannot jump. What you can do to partially circumvent this restriction, is a classic jump and deploy tactic that heavy mains in Team Fortress 2 use. Because of how he functions, despite the lack of damage drop off, and common sense on pop caps behalf to add it, the all star is best to utilize that mid to close range due to the immense spread and drag of his weapon, as well as so that he can utilize his abilities properly. Additionally, the speed penalty and inability to jump whilst the weapon is deployed will make you a prime target for snipers and high damage abilities, so make sure to only stay deployed for as long as necessary. Additionally, because BFN handles heat cooldowns differently, the one second tactic that usually works in Garden Warfare 2 will not work here, and thus longer waits will be needed in order to sufficiently cool down your weapon. The All-Star's first and most infamous ability is the Imp Punt. This will cause the All-Star to deploy a newcomer of the Suicide Squad strapped with explosives straight into any unfortunate suit that stands in your way. Once it lands, it starts a 1.5 second fuse before it explodes, dealing a massive 100 damage within an extremely generous radius. This is best used against groups of plants or as a way to either finish off opponents or start fighting with a massive burst of damage, given the little amount of time enemies will have to react. Once the little fucker is deployed, it will go on a 20 second cooldown. The All Star's second ability is a sprint tackle. For the most part, this ability stays the same in launching the All Star forward a short distance and can be used as a great source of horizontal mobility. However, when it comes to dealing damage, this is where the ability is changed. If during the tackle, the player makes contact with a plant, they will deal to 25 damage to the enemy that is directly hit and 50 damage within a small explosion around all other fucks it's within a small radius including the one you just bashed their skull in resulting in them receiving 75 damage along with being knocked away and with the ability only having a short 14 second cooldown 
it means that you can pretty much use this for whatever situation it is needed in, and it will either be done, or almost off cooldown by the time you need it again. So don't be afraid to use it if you think it is needed. The All Star's third and final ability is the Dummy Shield, which is the ability that changed the most coming from Garden Warfare 2. This deploys a dome shield with a dummy at the center of the shield. The shield itself has 300 health, however, the dummy only has 25, and if the dummy is destroyed, it will also destroy the shield. The shield is relatively large, so it can be used to block off large sidelines, or just provide some cover for either yourself or your numb nut teammates, who think trying to kill a garlic drone using the ZPG is a glorious idea. The shield lasts up to a maximum of 14 seconds before death spawning, and once placed, has a 28 second cooldown, so be sure to only use it when you absolutely need the cover. In terms of strengths, the All-Stars football cannon and ability setup make him a very dominant force at mid to close range, with his high damaging primary and powerful burst damage abilities. His sprint tackle gives him access to a surprising amount of horizontal mobility, and his shield can be used to protect himself or his teammates. However, the football cannon is wildly inaccurate, and the intense drag does make it inconsistent at longer distances. His primary can also become temporarily unavailable for a few seconds if used excessively, making him quite vulnerable. Lastly, his shield has a weak spot in the center that makes it extremely easy to take out and take down the shield way faster than one may expect. Now in terms of upgrades, the All-Star has a wide range of powerful upgrades, from ones that he can unlock to ones that come with him purely being a defense class. However, there are two upgrades in particular that I would personally recommend due to how much of a significant impact they have on his gameplay and general performance. The first of these is tennis skills. For the low price of 3 points, you essentially remove one of the All-Star's greatest weaknesses, being lack of mobility whilst firing, being able to move at full speed and jump whilst your primary fire is in use, allows you to play so much more aggressively than before, and makes gunfights not feel as restrictive. The other upgrade that I would recommend is shoot the gap, primarily for how much more mobility it allows sprint tackle to provide you for a low cost of 2 points. I mean, just look at this shit, you can practically speed ghost across entire sections of the map in little seconds, and no one will be able to stop you. It may take some time to get used to the increased speed, but trust me, the amount of mobility you can get from it is more than worth the cost. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of abusing the lack of damage drop off and cheese the shit out of fights against low health classes. Be sure to come back for the next episodes next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.